Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to cover Tilray Company. We'll cover the news and analyst reports to include our current positions. And we'll look at the chart and see what the direction's going. There's a lot of volatility in the stock at this time. But I got some great news for you guys. And uh, hopefully the Senate approves this and the House approves it. But we'll discuss that later. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and click any of the money icons below to review our past videos. And please smash that like button and subscribe. So let's get busy. All right, we currently own 2,000 shares of Tilray. Uh, we're currently looking at uh, putting it, placing a monthly covered call against this position. Probably the, probably the 14s. So we can collect uh, another $370 off this stock plus a premium. But we're going to have to do a monthly option on her. We already collected a total of $29.60 on the premiums and profits. Look at all that premium. Wow. Our current pro profits for the month is $39.08. Our current premiums and profits together is $52.47. We achieved 2.77% so far this month. Look at Tilray. Today it's up 4.36, but it went all the way down here around $11 a share. Whoa. Over the last couple of days. We'll dig into that a little bit further with that information that we have. There's only 9 million, almost 10 million shares traded today versus the average volume of 18 million, but we still have some time left for today's trading. The low side is $1.27. The high side is $27. First item we're going to cover is the short positions. Currently, we're around 8% of the the share shorted. It's a decrease from 813 to 831 from 34 million down to 33 million. And why did these cannabis stocks drop over the last couple of days before it popped today? They stated the company got downgraded down to $12 a share. Roth Capital cuts its price target on Tilray in half to $12 a share. Because they're not buying in the projected $4 billion in sales in the coming years. And that's why a lot of the shares dropped. They also cut a couple of the other cannabis stocks as well. That's why we dipped lower than we should be. Another article just came out uh, two days ago. Until we're anywhere near $12 absolute steal. And then they dig into this and why. Took a closer look as the Reddit community is involved in the stock. And then they approved uh, the actual increase in shares to, to buy into the other company for the United States. And the growth plans are still planning on delivering $4 billion in revenue by the end of fiscal year 2024. Uh, given the stock's already ultra low price, especially if it's near $12, it's time to consider the potential upside rather than obsess over the downsides. So they're stating that you can start dipping your toe into the stock. I'll place this article down below as well. Here's another article. This just came out about 21 minutes ago. Uh, seven growth stocks to buy now for their mu millionaire maker potential for the future. Remember, we always try to buy stocks for the future. We're not, we're not talking about stocks just for today or for the past. We want to look out to the future. And one of these stocks is Tilray. They state the war seems to be over for the cannabis industry in terms of stock downsize and cash burn. Additionally, there is an impending tailwind in the form of a possible federal level legalization of cannabis. Thus, Tilray stock seems like an attractive pick from the among growth stocks in the industry. Then they talk about the buyout or the merger with Alfina. Additionally, Til Tilray has also continued to deliver positive adjusted EBD. And considering the growth guidance for the next few years, EBITDA margin expansion seems likely. So this is another great article. I'll also place this down below. Okay, there was another article that came out. This happened today as well, Wednesday. House includes capitalist banking measure in National Defense Authorization Act. So the Alliance Global Analyst Aaron Gray on Wednesday said a vote by lawmakers to include the safe banking bill in the U.S. House of Representatives 
National Defense Authorization Act is encouraging. But subsequent actions by the Senate remains key to the passage. As the proposed, the law would protect depository institutions by prohibiting regulatory banks from terminating deposit insurance for institutions that service legitimate capitalist businesses, including loans to state-compliant capitalist businesses. This is a big thing here. This means the companies in the United States will be able to have banks here. And Tilray will be able to have banks in the United States, bank accounts, to service other contracts within the United States when they grow. So this is a great news here. And that's why our stock popped today. I appreciate everybody watching our video today. I know it's been a while since we covered Tilray. And I know the market's been going crazy lately. Just hang in there. Remember, we're looking for long term. We're not worried about it. We're going to pick up our premiums here and there. And we try to wait until the stock price goes up enough so then we get a good, decent premium and try to gain money and not lose money. If you have any questions or comments, please place them down below. Please share our videos with others. Please smash that like button and subscribe. You guys be safe out there. I know I'm losing my voice. Until next time, this is Sonny and I'm out.